It's time for the big Hollywood quiz. Here's your host, Jack Del Mar. <laughs> Shine so brightly on Chaplin and Garbo. Tonight we delight in James Dean and Gene Harlow, where legends of the past meet the stars of tomorrow on the big Hollywood quiz. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Welcome to the show that's all about entertainment. Let's meet our contestants. First, Robert is a professor of film studies at Tisch School of the Arts. Hi, Jack. Next, Jacqueline is an entertainment writer for USA Today. Great to be here. Finally, Mary hosts her own show on the history of Hollywood. What kind of show is it, Mary? Uh, it's a podcast. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, our categories are the movies, the shows, the stars, and hooray! <laughs> Robert, you're first. Thanks, Jack. Uh, we gotta start with movies. We gotta. This question is from the 1950s. In All About Eve, she famously said, fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Oh, oh, oh. Robert, you buzzed in first. The one and only Betty Davis. Yes, that's $500, you're on the board. Moving over to the shows, this one is from the 80s. In 1983, this TV show, set during the Korean War, had a finale watched by over 100 million viewers. <laughs> Jacqueline. Uh, MASH, and it was watched by 106 million. That's it, $500 for you, great job. Now let's go over to the 2020s. This breakout hit is the current number one show on Netflix. It's Ginny and... No one? It's the most watched show on the most watched streaming service in the world. No? Ginny and... Juice? Uh, no. It was Ginny and Georgia. Ginny and Georgia, season two. Is that from Europe? No, it's totally American. Okay, Robert, pick a category. Let's go to Hooray. Great, these are all about awards, sticking with the 2020s. This film, written and directed by Sarah Polly, has been nominated for Best Picture this year. No one? I'll give you a hint, it has an all-female cast featuring Oscar winner Frances McDormand. 80 for Brady. <laughs> no. Anyone else? Uh, can you give us a hint? It's women talking. Be more specific. <laughs> no, that's the title, Women Talking. It's a wonderful film. Do you all watch much TV or movies? I do, at least 12 hours a day. Yikes. <laughs> Here's the next question. Just last week, Andrea Riseborough was nominated for an Oscar for her role in which movie? Anyone? Andrea Riseborough. They say it was the best performance of her career. Career? Mm. It was Too Leslie, that's right, Too Leslie. It's great, you should really see it because so far, it's made $27,300. Okay, that's not a lot for opening weekend. It's been out for four months. <laughs> Can I make a request, Jack? Can we do a question with some big movie stars, people we would all know? Sure, like who? I don't know, Nicole Kidman. Absolutely. Here's one. This past year, Nicole Kidman starred in this darkly feminist drama on Apple TV. Wednesday? No. Anyone? Nobody? It was Roar. That's right, Roar. No. Yes. Okay, let's do um, Samuel L. Jackson. Everyone knows him, right? This past year, Samuel L. Jackson starred in this critically acclaimed drama on Apple TV. Wednesday. <laughs> no, sorry, it was the last days of Ptolemy Gray. Oh, come on, you've got to be kidding me. I'm totally serious. <laughs> Jack, please, I'm sure these shows are great, but where did all the big, popular movies go? Oh, they're still here, they're just in your phone, and you can watch them on the toilet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Since no one is in the lead, let's just move on to the speed round. Robert, you're still in control. Our era is the 80s. Whew, great. Here's the question. The year 1989 featured movies like The Little Mermaid, When Harry Met Sally, Batman, Dead Poets Society, and Do the Right Thing. Robert, name three movies from the past five <laughs> years. Oh, wow. Three? Okay, um, wow. 
Top Gun. Okay, that's one. Great. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the Hangover? That was 20 years ago. Um, the Night. Man. Sounds like you're just saying words. Come on, all you need is one. Can't you just name one more movie? Nope. That's right, nope! <laughs> Why? I'll just take the win, Robert. When we when we come back, these three will try to guess what Julia Roberts is doing on Stars. Bye. <laughs>